Hello and welcome to this video on combining means. Now if we wanted to find the mean of some values, the mean would be the total of the values, we add them up and then we divide by the number of values. Now we can rearrange this formula, if the mean is the total of the values divided by the number of values, then the total of the values is the mean times the number of values. So the total of the values is equal to the mean times the number of values. And this rearrangement is basically all we will need for the various questions we're going to see. So let's see some examples and it should become clear. Three girls have a mean age of 15. Sheila joins the group and the mean age is now 16. How old is Sheila? So the key is to think about the totals. If three girls have a mean age of 15, then the total age before of the three girls the total of the values is the mean times the number of values. So the mean was 15 and the number of people was 3. So that means the total age of those three girls, if they have a mean age of 15, is 45. Now Sheila joins a group and the mean age is now 16. So we can think of the total age of the four girls now. The total age of the four girls is equal to the mean times the number of values. Now the mean is now 16. The number of people is now 4, we have 4 girls now, and 16 times 4 is 64. Now if the total age before was 45, and then Sheila joins the group and the total age is now 64, then Sheila's age is just a difference between the two totals. We can just do 64 minus 45, and that is equal to 19. So Sheila was 19 years of age. Let's do question 2. Class A and Class B have 20 and 30 students respectively. The mean mass mark of Class A was 68 and the mean of Class B was 75. What was the mean mark across the two classes? So let's think of totals again. We can find the total mark of Class A. The total of Class A is just the mean of Class A, which we're told is 68, times the number of people in Class A, which is 20, and that will give you the total mark of those 20 people. So I'll just fetch my calculator, and that gives you 1368. So that's the total mark in Class A. And let's do the total of Class B. We do their mean mark, which was 75, times by the number of people in Class B, which was 30. And we do that on the calculator again, and it's 2250. Now, we therefore know the total across the two classes we can just add those up, so we just do 1360 plus the 2250 is 3610. Now, if we know the total of everyone's mark, we could divide it by the total number of students to get the mean mark across all students. So the mean of all is going to be the total of all their marks divided by the total number of people across the two classes, 20 plus 30 is 50. And so we just do that division, divide that by 50, and we get a mean of 72.2. And just check it looks sensible. That mean across all the classes should be somewhere between the mean of the two individual classes. Yes, 72.2 is somewhere between 68 and 75. And it's not going to be exactly halfway between because there's more students in class B than class A. So that mean across the two classes will be slightly skewed towards class B because there are more students in it. Let's do question three, very similar method. The mean age of 10 boys and 20 girls is 16. If the mean age of the boys is 17, what is the mean age of the girls? Now, the mean age of the 10 boys and the 20 girls is 16. So that's of everyone. The mean age of everyone is 16. The total age of all is the mean of all of them, which is 16, times by the number of people in total, 10 plus 20 is 30 and that gives you 480. And we can also find the total age of, well, what does it say in the question? Uh, the mean age of the boys is 17. So we can get the total age of the boys. That's going to be 17, their mean, times the number of boys, which is 10, and that's 170. Now, if the total age of everyone is 480 and the total age of the boys is 170, then the total age of the girls is just the 480 minus the 170, just the difference between the two. So the total age of the is equal to 480 
minus 170 is equal to 310. And therefore, the mean age of the girls is just the total age of the girls, 310, divided by the number of girls, which is 20. And that gives us, when we divide those, 15.5. So there we go. That's the mean age of the girls. Right, just a final test your understanding question that I want you to do. Ten friends have seven sweets on average. Sheila emigrates to Australia, taking her 11 sweets with her. What is the mean number of sweets of the remaining friends? You may want to pause the video here to have a go at that question. Right, let's do it. So, 10 friends have seven sweets on average. Um, on average, by default, just means the mean. So, the total sweets of everyone is equal to the mean sweets, which is seven, times the number of people, 10, which is 70. Now, Sheila emigrates to Australia, taking 11 sweets. So, we've now got 11 less sweets. So, the sweets left is equal to 70, minus 11 taken away by Sheila, and that leaves 59 sweets. And then we want to find the mean number of sweets of the remaining friends. So the mean of the remaining sweets is going to be the total sweets divided by the number of remaining people. Well, there are 10 friends, but now there's 9 left because she has gone. And 59 divided by 9 gives you 6.5 recurring. Let's just say 6.56 to two decimal places. And that is the answer. Well done if you got that right.